Hey guys, it's Tina Banana here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a little bit different because today I am going to be showing and telling you some tips. Sorry about that, like flash. Uh, that was my finger. I had to clear something off of my camera. But um, I'm going to be telling you, ooh, telling you some tips and showing you how to do a cartwheel. Now I've been knowing how to do a cartwheel for very many years, and I have just not had the chance to show y'all. Uh, first of all, and second of all, like just whatever. By the way, yesterday was um. I think I made a video, I don't know if I posted it, but I'm pretty sure I made a video saying that I had my interview today, and I'm sorry I haven't been vlogging, this will also be a vlog connected, um, I'm going to be posting it, fly, go, um, sorry about that, I'm going to be posting it as both, uh, because of how little time I have left, ugh, flies are gross, anyway, so let's get started. So guys, if you can't see me, I am so sorry for that, by the way. My camera, I'm trying to scoot it as back as I can. Ooh, so you can see the whole magic, oh crap, magic of what I've been doing and what I've tried to be doing. So yeah, let's get started. Come on. Okay. So what you want to do for the first part of this is what like okay so like the preparation so you really want to stretch before you do any kind of gymnast kind of things um so like um my sister used to be a gymnast and which is really what got me into d doing this kind of things I, I will be showing you like different types of things i also got the help from youtube i uh, just people my clap was very loud people who like do it like professionally I got it from uh, them helping me sorry about the hand motions I just love hand motions um, so yeah uh, I've gotten them from those inspiring people from to oh wait not from to what um, to me and so yeah I am very excited to show you this but if I fail don't judge because I know a lot of y'all can't even do half of a handstand so hey Anyway, so what you really want to do before you do anything else is you do want to stretch. Now, I am, by the way, first off, if you see any bugs flying around, that is not my fault. That is the neighborhood's fault. This area is full with pollen and stuff like that, and I don't like it. Because all the dragonflies, they're pretty, but they get annoying, and the flies are pretty annoying, and stuff like that. So, yeah. So the first thing we want to do is we want to stretch. So I'm going to sit on the concrete and stretch. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. And you want to just do what you normally do, like in PE and stuff like that. You want to first, you, oh gosh, flies. You want to um, like reach your leg out. Um, if you can see this, now you can't. But, um, oh, my camera's so stupid. Reach your leg out and um, just touch your toe. And do that for about 30 seconds. So I'm going to do that and be right back. Okay, so that was a little bit more than 30 seconds because I really needed to stretch because I have not done this today at all. So if you haven't or if you're just starting like doing some like exercising for the day, please do it for like a minute, two minutes for both legs. So it was about a minute each for each leg, which is what I did about. Um, I timed it on my phone, which is over there. Um, so yeah, let's just do that on the other leg as well. Okay, so obviously I also did a minute on this leg, and it's really helping only because um, by the thigh, so, ooh, so by this right here, you want it to like I don't know how to explain it. You want it to stretch. Yeah, I know it hurts and everything. And I know that you don't want to hurt yourself. And I know that people like out there are saying, hey, if you do it this way, it's going to be wrong like every time. And it's going to hurt you and it's going to damage your leg. I mean, it's not damaging your leg basically at all. It's just helping you stretch and it's helping you like get more flexible as you can say, I guess. Um, so yeah, um, by the way guys, if you can't see me, I'm so sorry. I am trying my hardest 
So, yeah, um, let's get up. Hopefully y'all didn't see anything, um, like where I live. So, I'm gonna film it from here, actually, because maybe it's better light. Ooh, and much better, ooh, spacing. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, let's we'll see how far I can move. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is what we're, um, <laughs> What we're gonna do first is what we're gonna do. No, um, what we're gonna do first is after you have stretched, you, the first thing you wanna do is put your hands in the air. Now that's very easy for most people if you're paralyzed. I am so sorry you, I don't know. Anyway, um, so um, just put your hands, neighbor, um, put your hands in the air and you wanna point your toe out. Now, what people do in gym and in ballet is what I've been told that helps the most. You don't want your toe to hit the floor. So, like, I'm on grass right now. So, the, the tip of the grass or the grass, it's, uh, like, the, the dirt and stuff, you don't want to hit your toe on it. So, what you want to do is just, let's see if I can back up like that. Okay. You want to, like, so here's the ground. You don't want your, you want to tap it with your foot. Hold on. Actually, you can barely see that. You wanna, here's the four, right? You wanna tap it with your foot, but never keep it like this, or never like this. You always want it off the ground, like the like literally, literally, like a half an inch. So you probably want it about right there, and you can tap it, but you never wanna because you're starting. Okay guys, I am so sorry about that. I literally just hurt my foot on a splinter. Um, fortunately, I got it out good and um, yeah, that's like a kind of like a TMI thing. But yeah, I am going to be continuing this video. Just don't worry. It has come out, but it has left a mark, so it hurts. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna be focusing on that. But first, I am actually, so I don't get another splinter, the smart thing to do is put on a pair of shoes. So I will be right back. Okay, by the way, guys, if you can see that, that is the sun going down. So if my lighting doesn't like show up very good, I am so sorry. Um, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible kind of thing. But I hope I did get all of that splinter out because it still hurts, obviously. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna be doing it still so yeah let's go i should have firstly like started it with shoes because ob obviously um this can happen so yeah so what you want to do is the same thing i was telling you tip your toe you don't want to have it flat or you don't want to have it like straight on you just want to tip it so like i don't know Okay, guys, so sorry about that. My neighbors just showed up, if you can see. My neighbors just showed up, and so I had to move my no uh, my device, of which I'm recording on, to a different location because I didn't want to disturb them. So if I can get this lighting set up pro uh, appropriately, I will continue on with this video. Okay, so I think I got it at the, the camera at the angle that I want it to be, but at the same time, I can barely see myself. That's great. All right, so what you want to do is tip your toe. So you just want to go like this, as I was saying before. If I make this video and it doesn't uh, turn out good, I will, uh, I will post it anyway, but I am going to be doing, like, this thing where I just don't want to do that. So anyway, I just want to show you. And afterwards, I want to show you something really weird uh, that I did the other day, and I feel really bad for it because it was a frog. Actually, I'm going to show you now. I'm a scatterbrain, but here it is. It's gross. Sorry about that, guys. My cat went out. So stupid. Um, but maybe I can film with their uh, thing right here. Maybe, maybe if I do 
do this. All right, so as I said, dip your toe. Start like this. This is way better lighting. Woohoo! Um, dip your toe like this. And you just want to, when you go down, you want to go like this. And you want to go like in a, sorry, you want to go in like a T formation. So you want to go like this and bring, like you want to go like a T. So you want to be straight at the top. So you want your body and your leg that you're dominant with. Your dominant is the one that you're like pointing out. Wait, no. No, 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 it's the opposite foot that you're pointing out. So that's your dominant because you can balance better on that one, which is my right leg for me. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, so yeah, left leg is pointed out. I'm going to go in T formation, like I keep on saying, but I'm not doing it. I don't know why. T formation, and you just want to go like this, and you want to cartwheel. And it's really hard to do if I can, uh, if I keep on going like stuttering and then failing, I'm sorry, I usually just do it quickly. So, let's see. Wait, why was I do that? Sorry guys, let's do that over again. So, obviously, my stomach just showed. <laughs> um, but anyway... I'm going to tuck my shirt in so that it won't show that again. But anyway, I said it wrong. That was for a handstand, which I will be showing later on this week. <laughs> so I'm really tired. I have not gotten any dares this week, so that's why I'm doing this. Because my dare thing... <laughs> My dare thing is going down bridge because y'all keep on, like, I don't know. Why is there, like, dirt on my hands? Gross. Feels like crap, but it's not. Anyway, so I'm going to be doing that again because I messed up the first time. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was trying to do a hand, uh, cartwheel, a bit handstand because up there in my room, I was, I was teaching myself how to, like, I was, like, remembering what to do about that. But yes, so sorry guys about that. Anyways, I'm going to show you one last time, or two times, or how many I can to show y'all I'm good at this. So what you're going to do is you're going to stick out your your actual, your actual opposite dominant foot, so which is my left foot, obviously. And you're just going to go like this, and you're going to go like this, and kind of like turn your body, but not. And you're going to go like in a starfish way, but it's like sideways. I don't know. So this is starfish. It's like sideways. Oh, oh, okay, anyway. But this leg still is on the ground straight the way you want to go. Your whole body basically has to be like flat, like a pancake. But looking this way, and you're about to like head off that way. But if you can't do that... And your body is like mine, which is like kind of overweight. Sorry about that, body. Anyway, um, don't make fun of me in the comments. Um, <laughs> don't judge. Uh, but, um, which, what I can do is go like this, and I kind of like flip around and end up, I don't end up this way, I keep on ending up that way, I, per, I believe, but I do like, do it a way that I kind of look like I'm going to face this way at the end, but I still face this way. So, again, I'm going to show you what I mean by this. And I do it really fast, just so I can get the, uh, the mo motivation, motivation, motivation out of me, I guess. That's what you call it. Um, sorry, I'm tucking in my shorts, because... Even though I look like sea freckle, I just need to do that. Um, anyway, so yeah. And ew. Um, so let's do that one more time just to see if y'all got it or not. So let's do it again. Ooh, way better. 
They almost like twisted my ankle. That really hurt. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please join me next time or next once uh Tuesday when I show you um how to do a handstand. But if y'all's dares come in more than three dares, I will be doing a um, dare video instead. And I might just do both if I want to. Um, get off my back if I don't. Okay? So, thank you guys for watching and see y'all next time. Bye!